until the Lord was again moved to compassion for his children and caused to rise up among them a new judge. It was a day in spring. Manoah, a man of the family of Danites, was weeding his fields of grain when... My husband, we will have a child. Yes, the angel of the Lord appeared to me. Now you are barren and childless, he said, but you will conceive and bear a son. He will be a Nazarite, chosen of the Lord, and he will vow never to cut a hair of his head and the angel said also, it will be he who begins the deliverance of Israel from the hands of the Philistines. and kill your sons, burn your crops and tear down your houses. Samson has dared to challenge us, but you will be forced to pay his bounty to us. We'll persecute the men who have been hiding, and you'll see your streets run red with their blood until you decide that you will give him up to be punished. It's true. The Philistines fear you. The mention of your name terrifies them. But you can see that for yourself, Samson. The moment you are not here to protect us, they take our young men. They steal our animals. And so? And so? 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 We've told you. Now you must make the decision. If I agree to this exchange, do you think the Philistines will set the captives free? and leave you in peace. Samson! Samson! It's Samson! Come and look! See Samson! Samson's been captured! He's our prisoner! Samson! Samson! Look at him! Samson! Why haven't you kept the promise you made to my people? <laughs> because some promises are made to be broken. <laughs> it was by your order that I have been brought here. It is enough for me that they have done their job and done it well. <laughs>
a thousand. A thousand Philistines killed by one man. And with what weapon? The jawbone of an ass. And this is the end of a campaign. Planned for one purpose only. To destroy one man who has beaten us at every turn for almost 20 years. Farim. I still hear your reassuring words. I have a foolproof plan. We won't even have to make the effort to tie him down ourselves. Don't blame me, because your soldiers let him escape. Ah, yes. Nabur, you and your thousand men at arms. Much good they were. We were not defeated by one man. That sudden wind. That storm of dust. Perhaps the God of Israel... Lies! Words! Excuses! There has been wind and dust in the past, and we have won against greater odds and a larger army than ours. The wind! The God of Israel! I ask myself, what have I done that I have such fools? See that the city gates are closed at once. Wait a minute! Wait! Don't close it yet! Come on, you stupid thief! Move! Look at going! Come on! Hurry up! Get inside! You don't Get inside! They know you're inside the walls. They're searching every house. We'll have to do something. I'll talk to the soldiers. Many know me. They come here often, and some owe me money. Don't worry. I'm going. But where? The gates are closed, and Gaza is full of armed men looking for you.
Where did they come from? Look. The gate Samson stole. Who <laughs> <Get on. laughs> Look at this. What do you want? Me? Nothing. Too little. Would you like a jar of rare ointment? A red robe? My neck! What do you want? Please! Leave Give me alone! My neck! No! She's a thief! Let me I go! Thief. Give me back I didn't steal anything! Give Leave me alone! My neck! No! My neck! Leave me alone! I'm not a thief! Let me go! No! I knew as soon as I saw her that she was a thief. is strong enough to support the weight of the temple. Well, it had better be. If the temple falls, so will my head. that you deserve a better fate. 
but perhaps you prefer the quiet life of the country. No. You are not that foolish. Surely you know what it would be like for a beautiful girl to live here. Fine clothes. Jewels. Every luxury. And you also know that these things are not come by for nothing. You see, Delilah, uh, we know that Delilah is your name. All we want to know is, what is the secret of his strength? The man you are living with. A man called Samson. Don't be frightened. You love him? Very well. I promise you I won't have him killed. I could send my soldiers to do that. We have known for some time that he is hiding in your house. And so, just this little aid from you, and you can have Anything you want. Look. To finish everything, I'll need a few more Jews. We kill a lot of them on jobs like this. How can you stay here while the Philistines enslave your brethren? Women and children, too. They are forced to do things that no human being can do. Work fit only for beasts. More die every day. What should I do? God has given you the strength to defend Israel. You are our leader. When I use my strength, they complain. They were more afraid of me than of the Philistines. Don't forget, they even forced me to give myself up to the enemy as a prisoner bound hand and foot I haven't forgotten, but there have been times when you were wrong, too. You have acted selfishly, and instead of helping your people, you have made their lot harder to bear. God didn't give you your strength for that. Yes, I know, but maybe I don't know how to use it. So let them leave me in peace. She's come back. Uh, I would like you to know her. No, Samson. Not today. Besides, I don't want to know her. Why didn't you tell her to stay? Guess what I found? <sighs> mm. 
<laughs> In a puddle. I was looking for a stone, and instead I... A merchant must have lost. I don't like it. It must be false. I've seen more beautiful ones. Where? Around the necks of women more fortunate than I am. Delilah. <laughs> I've been thinking that you don't love me. Otherwise, you would try to make me happy with your strength. You could have everything. You don't know, Delilah. The strength of mine is a burden on me. A heavy load. You could, uh, waylay a caravan. Break the strongest lock. Do I have to be a thief, too? Oh, no, no, not a thief. But it is a pity that you don't use the strength in those great arms. It is in your arms, isn't it? Certainly it's in my arms. Yes, but it isn't just a question of muscles. There must be a secret about it. I would think... Yes, there is a secret. Uh, I could never escape if I were bound with seven wet strips of animal tendons. Like those. Then a child could do what he wanted with me. And so could you. Have you lost your strength? Yes. No secret. Samson is strong. That's all. Samson is deceiving you, Delilah. That's not true. He loves me. Anyway, it's none of your business. But if you want him, you know where he is. Why don't you go and get him? Are you afraid of just one man? A man who can kill a thousand well-armed men and carry off the gates of Gaza cannot be conquered by force. We don't want to go on, sacrificing our lives for nothing. You promised to find out the secret of his strength. I've tried three times. He just makes fun of me. And besides, I don't want to.
Do you know what is happening to me? I'm becoming fond of this house and of you. I've realized that perhaps... What's the matter with you? It isn't true. I know that you're not happy here. You're thinking of your mother, your people. And sooner or later, you'll get bored with me and leave. So what do you expect? That I should laugh and joke and be happy? Delilah. Once. A long time ago, I met a girl and fell in love. She was the daughter of a certain Tamnata. She betrayed me. On the very day of our wedding, from that day, Delilah, I've never trusted a woman. <laughs> but you, Delilah, you are different. You want to help me. You're faithful to me. Why are you crying? Oh, I didn't mean to hurt you. I only wanted to tell you that I trust you. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to give you the proof. You've asked me many times to give you a proof, a real proof of my love. All right. I'm going to give you that proof now. I'm going to tell you the secret of my strength. No, Samson. No. You're afraid that I'm going to lie to you again. I made up those stories because I wasn't sure that I could trust you. But now, now I know that you could never betray me. No. Delilah. Don't say any more. My strength is in my hair. Your hair? It's true, Delilah. I'm a Nazarite. One chosen by God. I made a vow. Never to cut a hair of my head. If I broke my vow, all my strength would leave me. Oh, Samson, why did you tell me? Why?
In two months, I've been walking. I'm tired, worn out. I don't know what has kept me going. But why do you come to me? You, you knew Samson. Uh, they told me that you might speak to the guard. Why don't you go to Delilah? She's a better friend of the Philistines than I am now. Sorry. I know someone who will help us. One moment. Let me see him just for one moment. <laughs> now go. I'm waiting for someone. Come back tomorrow morning. One moment. If only I could see him for just one moment. Come back one tomorrow moment. morning. But just one I'll moment. I'll do what I can. What have they done to you? 
What have they done? Your eyes. Your eyes. They didn't tell me. sun shining outside or is it raining I can see you do you know that if you tell me that it's raining outside and the frost has covered the fields and I can see you wrinkling your forehead as you used to do and if you tell me the sky is blue and the sun is warm and my father is well and I can see you smile. And I'll be happy too. Uh. Feel it. It's grown again. Like it was before. But my strength hasn't come back. My eyes don't matter. Day by day, I felt it growing. I kept touching it at night. And now it is as it was before. My strength hasn't come back. It hasn't come back! I know. I was wrong. God chose me for our people's leader. And I betrayed him. Tomorrow, they'll take me to the temple of Dagon. The princes of the five cities are coming to see me in chains. I shall pray to God to make me the instrument of his divine will. Your father sent this. I had so many things to tell him. And I have told you so little. Forgive me.
is the judge of Israel, the leader of the Jews, the one who burned our crops, who destroyed our fields, killed our soldiers. The enemy of our people is now under our foot under the foot of Dagon. His great strength is gone, destroyed forever by a woman. Delilah! My lord, I would like to go now. Am I to believe that you regret what you have done? You will stay.
Forgive me. Make me once more the instrument of your divine justice. And let me die. Nazarite, chosen of the Lord, and he will vow never to cut a hair of his head. It will be he who begins the deliverance of Israel from the hands of the Philistines.